Hello, my name is Girish Kumar. I'm going to give a brief introduction on semantic search engine. So why use semantic search? Semantic search is used to get a deeper understanding of user intent, to get a much more natural language kind of search. Understanding all the data and their context maximizes the possibility of user getting the best possible search experience. So what exactly is semantic search? The word semantic refers to the meaning or essence of something. Applied to search, semantic essentially relates to the study of words and their logic. Semantic search seeks to improve search accuracy by understanding a user intent through contextual meaning. Semantic search is not a natural language processing. To put it simple in simple terms, it's a simple text search where the user can have a much more natural English type search. This can vary to any language. So let's get to a demo and see how it works. So you have built a simple semantic search engine on the market research domain data. So let's look at the query which I had typed here. Top 10 ASDA for United Kingdom 2018. So I can type like get me top 10 ASDA for United Kingdom 2018. So to understand the context of my written query over here and provide this result. So it is understanding ASDA as a retailer and it has a retailer ID associated with it as it has a brand it has a brand ID and it has a supplier ID also then as it has a supplier it has a supplier ID associated with it so this is the context of as next is I want to get the top 10 so it should understand that 10 is a count and top is our own ascending order then 2018 is a date so it is understanding 10 is a number and 2018 is a date and next is united kingdom so it's understanding united and kingdom together is a word and it's a country and it has a country id of 45 so here over here we are fine making a Google kind of search but a search only for your data so it's like a search engine built for your data to fetch your data much more easily so this is one of the query let's look at some other query next is if I just type Tesco Tesco in China. Let's see what's the result I'm gonna get. So here it's getting Tesco as a retailer, Tesco as a brand, Tesco as a supplier with its retailer ID, brand ID, and supplier ID over here. And China as a country with a country ID. Similar way, if I type United, United, so if you look at the previous query, United Kingdom was a country, but it had a word United in it. But if I just search United, it's going to give United is a brand and it has a brand ID to it and it has a supplier ID to it. So it's understanding United is a brand and Kingdom, if it have Kingdom separately, Kingdom is also a supplier or a I think it's a supplier over in this domain. So like this, we can make a user life easier. You need not know a lot of filters or those kind of things and you can just come and search directly in your database and get the relevant information. It's best suitable for people who are doing research in your data 
to retrieve the best post for example a lot of analysts might be there in your company who is looking at the data they want a much more natural type search over there this search engine can help the best over there so this is it for the demo let me give some few more examples on what kind of searches can be what kind of queries can be given and in what all domains few examples which I came up with in research domain you can get something like get top 10 beers for United States and UK where price is greater than two dollar and less than ten dollar so it should understand over here I need top 10 I need what I need is beer beer becomes a category over here United States you need to understand that United States is equal to United States of America and USA and UK UK is a country but the full form of UK is United Kingdom it needs to understand that uh, United Kingdom is also called as UK and what it wants from the query it needs the price price is the statistics over here which is greater than two dollars and less than ten dollars so it's like deconstructing the query and reconstructing it for your application second is best selling burger in 2018 within two dollars here you need to understand within is it needs lesser than two dollars lesser than or equal to so those kind of intelligent uh, intelligence will be part of your search engine for example next is a finance domain comparing stock price from paypal and 3m and target for today so it needs to understand paypal is a company 3m is a company and target is also a company and for today is today is the current day and what it needs to do is it needs to compare all three it needs to compare and it needs to give the stock market comparison next in educational domain videos for calculus for 10 standard it needs to understand what it requires as videos the content it requires is video not text and uh, calculus is the required content over here for which is 10 standard so these are the different queries which can be passed down to a search engine and it will return the relative information so retrieving the result based on the context there are multiple ways to get the data based on the query first is build a dynamic query generator which generates a query on itself based on the context understanding from the search engine that's one part second based on the output of the context which is saw like ids of each industries and each countries etc etc and other properties over there you can pass it down to any database such as Elasticsearch or SQL or anything and retrieve the information. So any database will, if you look at any application, they will already have existing uh, data points for to search over there. It, all the data points require certain object kind of things which requires an ID. So this search engine is providing that ID. Based on that, it's very simple to retrieve or pass down the context to already existing store procedures or views or anything of those sort to retrieve the information. So these are the different ways of where you can retrieve the information. The complete data architecture, how it works is, I have a natural language query. sorry about that <laughs> so I have a natural language query over here the query inter interrupts tokenizers and passes what is state in it what is the entity in it those kind of things and pass down to a semantic layer so semantic layer, how it understand the context is it's something based on something called as knowledge graph. I'll talk a little bit more about knowledge graph in the next slide. So let's understand the semantic uh, layer is what 
understand the context of your data and entities and gives the relative IDs and those. Based on those uh, I information, you pass it to a query builder or a SP or, a, or even an application which takes in those objects. And from there, you just go to any other database and retrieve the result. So this is a complete data architecture. Oh, this is the important part. How, what is knowledge graph? So knowledge graph is nothing but the knowledge base. So this is your entire database, which is connected into a graph structure. Knowledge graph is built using the company's taxonomy and ontology and their relationships between them. So how rich your taxonomy and ontology is built based on that your knowledge can grow expansionally. So you are enriching the data, data and you are enriching the connections between the data. So knowledge graph can contain all the information of your entire database or abstract information. Abstract information is like you put an abstraction layer on your data so that knowledge graph only retrieves the taxonomy or ontology layer, not the data layer. Data layer can be moved into your database. A simple example of a knowledge graph is whenever you search in a Google of any person's name, in the right hand side you find a box where all this information are connected are shown no? that's called as knowledge graph knowledge graph can answer a lot more questions than just the context it can answer what is the interconnected relationships in between the industries it can do rec it can be used as a recommendation system i'll show you an example of uh, knowledge graph over here so imagine this is my database and I use my database to build this connections over here let's consider Bob Bob is a main person over here and Alice is another friend person over here we need to find out we need to find out what Bob likes and we can recommend based on what Bob likes to Alice also because Alice is a friend of Bob we can find out where does Bob live. So where does Bob live? So he's interested in this one. He's located over here. So where does Bob likes to go? He likes to go to Paris. Who all visited Paris? Bob visited Paris. Alice visited Paris. Those kind of questions. So if you look at the next uh, picture over here, Thomas Jefferson. So how it works is, if I type, imagine instead of Thomas Jefferson, Bob is over here. And these are the nodes connected to Bob over here. So if I just search this node, I can get all the interconnected nodes around Bob. So those are the information which are provided over here. Hope this gives a brief idea on what knowledge graph is. Next is different ways of user inputs. So user can input a query in multiple ways. Multiple ways. First is you can just type this text whatever you want uh, type. That is one way. Based on whatever others have typed, you can auto suggest the text also which the user wants to type so that's auto suggestion next is voice to text conversion so a guy can actually ask any application like for example let's take a finance application he wants to compare uh, company abc instead of typing compare compare company abc you can just speak it out how and uh, that voice to text is converted and text to semantic search is converted and semantic search to the relative output is given over here. There are simple ways to do it. One is for speech. I would suggest on using Google speech to text API. 
it can be implemented pretty quickly because you don't need a lot more information you just need to convert it into text and from there your search application will do the search part and auto suggestion text auto suggestion based on your previous user inputs we can auto suggest the text also the similar way how google's auto suggestion works so that's it for semantic search engine please reach out to me if you have any other concerns or architecture level performance level information required thank you very much